is mm-hmm. going to be very, very interesting the way they the way they do it. Yeah, we're talking about the one where the Twilight guy is Batman, right? Yep, yep, you know, sparkly I mean, Batman. Yeah, he might um, he might pull it off. I don't know. I I wasn't too, too thrilled at first. I was like, oh come on. You know what though? I'm not going to say anything because when I first heard they were coming out with a Daredevil TV show, I wasn't too. Like, I was excited, but at the same time, I thought they were going to fuck that up. And look how good of a job they did. Yeah, exactly. It was like so, I was born to play Daredevil. In fact, I had resisted getting a Netflix subscription for the longest time. And it wasn't until I heard months before Daredevil dropped is when I finally said, oh, they're making Daredevil and it's going to be on Netflix. I, I need to subscribe. So that's when I finally gave in and... You know, on Netflix. And uh, with them being DC, with Batman being DC, they did such a good job on Aquaman. I'm actually kind of intrigued to see what they're going to do with this with Batman, with this take on Batman. Yeah. So, I don't know. I'm kind of intrigued. I'm kind of looking forward to it. Same here. Um, Like I said, I have you had. Have I had what? Have you had a chance to uh, watch Rambo? I haven't had a chance to do anything because uh, the past four weeks I spent them uh, riding my scooter from working back. And uh, you're a fucking I, savage. Well, I'm not. I'm not as young as I used to be because uh, that wore me out. By the time I got home, I would, you know, lay down for a bit, and I would say, "I'm just going to take a quick nap, and then I'll go do whatever I need to do." Uh, no such thing. I wouldn't wake just, up. To, oh, uh, yeah. So it was time to go to work again. Uh, I think uh, that that thing works you out, man. It's like going to the <laughs> yeah, it, it's, on, it's brutal. All those bumps on the road, and then here uh, while I'm cutting through the desert, there the wind. I mean, I was like, damn, uh, it's crazy. So no, it's still hot out there, ain't it? It's cool in the morning. Like, let's say if I had to ride in the morning, I. It, it would be cold, especially cutting through the desert right there, that desert part. It, right. That would feel cold. But, yeah, in the afternoon, it's hot as hell. Like usual. You know how it is. Oh, fuck that. Yeah, I don't know. We, did, we, had a, we had a week. I think we had a week that was beautiful out here, just absolutely beautiful. Uh, but then all of a sudden, one day it just got hot again. Like Not like your guys is hot, like out here hot. No, um, okay. Two different, two different hots. Like yours is yeah. like, holy shit! I feel like I'm a chicken nugget well, inside of the oven. Well, we we got two seasons here. You know how it is. It's uh, hot and damn hot, and I think we're we're just going right. into the hot season right now. Jesus Christ! People, people are like out here. They're always like, "Why would you move here from Arizona? It's so beautiful out there." I'm like, obviously, you've never been out there in a the fucking summer for more than one week at a time. Mm. You know, <laughs> like you go out there for one summer and tell, come back here and tell me how beautiful it is. Uh, and uh, I was like, oh, oh, and by the way, summer out there lasts for 10 months. Yeah. But, you know. Maybe they went to it is what it is. What are you or do? Sedona or some of those nice places that. Yeah. One of those nice. really pretty places. No, yeah. fuck that. I don't you know. We used to go up to Sedona Valley. a lot. Well, yeah, just to get away from the heat in the valley. Yeah. We would go up to Sedona a lot. We'd go to Flag, um, up to Prescott, all those different places. Yeah, just to get away from the heat. Uh, Understandable. Here, though, here, here, once the sun starts to go down, it gets beautiful out here. But the mosquitoes are good, goddamn ferocious out here. Oh, well. Like, like stupid bad. Uh, they say it's all the, the wet ground that makes them that, that nasty, but fuck that. All righty, so uh, let's see. Uh, so anything uh, major we need to? Because we got like 10 minutes before. No, I think I think we've pretty much so covered most of it. Um I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully this week I'm going to go see... Uh, Jay and Silent Bob. Jay and Silent Bob. How long is that in theaters for? I have no idea, but I'm going to try to catch it. Um, 
Damn. Uh, wow, it's, it's crazy, man. It might only... It might only be open for, for two, or might only be sold for two days. I don't know. Oh, and then, uh, we also have to mention real quick that Clerks 3 has been, has been, uh, final. Like he said that as soon as they get done wrapping up this movie, why not? They're going to start working on Clerks 3. Yeah. The, I heard that too. That damn. Clerks 3, damn it. We need to get Guards 1 going. Yeah, Guards one, but it, fuck, I can't even get over it. I never, you know, after watching Clerks one, you never thought there'd be a number two, and then there's a number two, and then you know, Could you imagine now that? there's going to be a third one. That's going to be an interesting story. I mean, um, because I mean they're older now; are they still working at that fucking Quick Stop. And actually, I guess I could see that because there are some people that I know that when I was a teen. Uh, we started working at a grocery store, and uh, some of these people are still there. Yeah, I know a couple of people like that back yeah, back in my hometown. Like, so I'm like, well, I guess it could like, happen. Uh, yeah, I guess it could happen. You could. Well, you know that. Well, this, although the second, it, one, you know, they started off. Were they the owners? At the end. At the yeah, end. Yeah. Now the they got a, they now got they just end from, of the second one. They. They got a loan from Jay and Silent Bob. Apparently, they, they, they're they rolling in the <laughs> They've been balling. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Fucking ballers. <laughs> apparently, that, that's crazy. Okay. So, well, I, yeah, I, I, I guess I could see that and being, then, uh, being a lifer if you own the place, yeah. Right. And then... What about, I wonder if that means they're going to be able to go into a mall rights too. I know they were pitching it for a while there, but now he's having all kinds of success. I wonder if maybe we'll finally get mall rats too. He kept trying to uh, do a series. I guess he was hoping that Netflix would pick it up, and he kept saying that Netflix would tell him to fuck off each and every time that he went out there. Um, I don't know. Course, Motherfucker's well, right got, got his Matt- hands and feet in cement now. Yeah, that is true over in the Chinese theater. Um, yep. And of course, the the, the Masters of the Universe, uh, He Man animated show. He. So I don't know. Maybe it might be a maybe it might be a, like a Netflix deal. They, they, he, he, it might happen now that they trust him that they let him do He Man. Right. You never know. They, they maybe it was a contingency. Like, hey, you do good with this, and then we'll sit down and talk. We'll sit down and yeah, kind of like that. Like, hey. And, uh, if he or maybe he just with, puts uh, it on a. Hmm. If maybe they just said like, "Hey, uh, maybe he decided. Listen, we I got James Silent Bob reboot. I got Clerks three. I got He Man. Maybe I'll just put this on the back burner for now, and let's get all this other stuff done and over with, and then we'll start talking. You know, a year or two down the road. Yeah, I, I don't know. Hey, I don't know. That's crazy, but, man. It's. Oh. Anyway, man, hey, uh, it's awesome that I was able to catch you at a good time today, you know, because uh, yep. I've been hella busy, and apparently so have you, joining the force once again. And uh, uh, don't 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 say that again. <laughs> don't say that again. I hate it. I hate uh, it. Well, I don't want to do it no more. Oh, uh, come on. What? I want to be a bum again. I, I, I want to be uh, the stay-at-home dad, be Mr. Mom. Oh, gosh, I couldn't handle that. That fucked me up. Uh, I, I need to stay busy. I need to stay working. That's just one thing. I think, you know, even if uh, and hoping that someday uh, this podcasting thing takes us to whole new levels, I, I, I think I'd still continue working just because I'm sick in the head. Not me. We'll do this full time. Oh. Full motherfucking time. Every day we'll come to work and do this. And we'll be the next be awesome. Joe Rogan. Next Joe Rogan. You know what? <laughs> Sometimes I think it would have been cool if we if we could have like I don't know. I, I I as I'm getting older, I guess I'm getting over the fear of interacting with people. So right. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like hey, you know that whole cantina setup that Kevin Smith and Mark have. I you love that, that idea. They, you know, cursory take cursory overload on the road. Could you imagine a cursory overload, load, cursory overload tour? 
Oh, hmm. that would be dope. I'd love it. That, that would be. We need to make that shit happen. We need to make it happen. Yeah, we 2020, do. 2020, the year of the tour. That'd be, hey, you know what? Uh, yeah, let's talk about that. Let's uh, let, let's put it out there. Let's speak it into reality. Yep, it uh, will be. It's been spoken. It's speak it into reality. So uh, let the universe hear that. The 2020, somewhere, sometime in 2020, the cursory overload tour is going to start. And we're going to go around. Uh, I don't know, telling people to go fuck themselves in person. <laughs> yep. Different places. We'll go to different venues and uh, have a have a pre-show, you know, before comedians or whatever go on, on stage. Yeah, could you imagine? Actually, I wouldn't mind being the, like, hey, ooh, that's a fucking awesome idea. I wouldn't mind just being the, being the guy that introduces them and talking our shit while we're introducing and having comedians and just fucking with them there and listening to their shit. Oh, yeah. Or we'll be dope. the ones that... We'll be on stage, and we'll have the comedians come out and sit down, and we'll all just fucking bullshit. There we go. Ooh, that sounds like a motherfucking plan. You know what? Hey, definitely, we need to speak that motherfucking thing into reality. Um, That's how it's going to be. Yep. Okay, we're the countdown. We're down to the last three motherfucking minutes. Uh, Eventually, uh, I think they sent me a code. uh, Okay. I don't know. So, Uh, But anyway, bottom line is... uh, it's been awesome talking to you, bro, like always, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the bullshit we're putting out there, you know, trying to take you away from your reality, listening to some of the shit we go through. Take you into another dimension where, you know, problems of the world aren't aren't allowed. Fuck exactly. them. They don't come into this world. Exactly. Or you can, listen to, you can listen to the shit that we're going through and be like, oh, well, I guess I'm not the only one going through shit like that. <laughs> At least my shit ain't that bad. Fuck, those Jeez, guys are man. insane. <laughs> what the fucked up? Dang, what's wrong with that? <laughs> and that man. fucking kidder got anger issues. What the fuck is wrong with him? <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, weird, I, he wants to do weird things with people's butts all the time. Yeah, I saw the the earbuds <laughs> picture. <laughs> <laughs> and when you said that made me giggle, and I looked at it, I was like, I know why. <laughs> Danny, it, 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 the sad thing is that I know why. <laughs> like, I, maybe, maybe we'll have to put that one on our website. Yeah, definitely. So everybody can get a little giggle out of it. <laughs> yeah, that's like, where does that one go? All you meaning to feel the bass? <laughs> to feel the bass. Feel mm, drop. The bass. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, uh, I guess that's all the show we got for today. Thank you for listening. Uh, you want to. Hit us up and let us know what you think. If you like it, don't like it, uh, whatever the fuck you got to say. Uh, cursory overload, cursory dot overload at gmail dot com. Uh, you That's can right. Cursory Hit us overload. up. Let us know. Yeah. Or you can go to cursory overload dot com and go to the contact page, and uh, you can. I guess you can hit us up from there too. Um, right on. Yeah. Right on. So well. Uh, I guess all that's left to say is... Oh, go ahead. Later. Later. (laughs) Y'all know the rest. All righty. Listening to Cursory Overload.